everybody. Once again, a good morning to all of you. Welcome to the other 167. I'm so glad we could once again meet this September 2023 on this channel, on this platform. Well, if you've not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe to the other 167 and hit that bell icon so that you get all our notifications and follow us on our social media platform that's Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram. And also write to us on the email ID as shown on the screen. Well, Heart and Eyes, Found in Christ. I'm going to touch base on two topics today. That's Heart and Eyes. That's the first one. So, Jesus often told us that what goes into our heart is really what matters. And our eyes are one of those gatekeepers to the heart. That's to the inner life. That's why what you look at matters so much. Now, that doesn't mean if you look at food and you like food, it's not good. No, because if you look at food, you like to eat. And if you like to eat, you like to cook. Well, that's not, I don't think that what, that's what God is trying to talk about here. But what he's trying to talk about is, if you can take out our Bibles to Luke 11, 34 to 36. Well, Luke 11, 34 to 36, the message version says, Your eye is a lamp up to your whole body. If you live wide eye in wonder and belief, your body fills up with light. If you live squinty, eye in greed and distrust, your body is a dank cellar. Keep your eyes open, your lamp burning, so you don't get musty and murky. Keep your life as well lit it as your best lit it or your best lighted room. So, what's he trying to say in 11, Luke 11, 34? Well, it's basically what he's trying to say is you are what you eat. But even more accurately, he's saying you are what you see. Now, this is why David said, I will set nothing wicked before my eyes. That's what David said. And a person who concentrates on what is good will see good. And that same good will enter into his heart. Um, but a person who focuses on bad teaching and that's the false teaching of the world would have his heart more into a sense of darkness. So darkness will suck into his heart. But if he has a godly teaching, well, that's where we say the eyes, what they see and then that what your heart speaks. Now, 36 also talks about your whole body full of light. Now, a person can become a light, a living picture of what God's word teaches by concentrating on the light of the truth. And who is the light of the truth? That's Jesus. Today, let's ask God to forgive when we looked at things that we know and feel instinctively they were wrong. And to forgive the parts of us that are unkind forgive the parts of us that are selfish so let's ask god to give us that courage to uh, guard our hearts and guard our eyes on what we see let's all look to christ to fill our hearts with his love that our eyes would shine with his light and our eyes would shine with his mercy and our eyes would shine with his goodness now when we have that light in us when we have his mercy when we have his goodness in us I'm sure what goes in through our eyes, what sucks, sits down in our heart, that would come out of our mouth as well. Okay, so that's about heart and eyes. Now, let's just um, look on to the next topic that I wanted to talk today. The next subject or the next uh, panel, you could say, is about finding yourself in Christ. Have you found yourself in Christ? Well, we all want to find our purposes in life. Uh, it's just that the way we are made. Look around, uh, you can see different places that people go searching for meaning in life. You know, some hunt down for more wealth, some hunt down for uh, more influence, some hunt down for or crave for power. Now, I'm not saying that you cannot get more wealth. No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that you cannot be an influencer. I'm not saying that you cannot get power uh, or you cannot strive to get power. That's not what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say here is um, our real nature is never determined by 
this kind of success. So even though you get influence, you get that power in your life, uh, you basically get more wealth, but that does not determine our success. Then what determines our success? That's a question that we need to ask ourselves. Well, the only way we truly know that we are here and the only true source of real and living hope. Yes, some of you all said that. Well, it is to know whom we belong to and where we belong to. And for me, I belong to the Almighty. I belong to the King of Kings. His name is Jesus. Well, those who put their hope in Jesus, Luke 20, 36, those who put their hope in Jesus can no longer die, for they are like the angels. They are God's children, since they are children of the resurrection. Wow, that's fantastic. Well, you are the child of the resurrection. I am the child of the resurrection. And so when you and me are the child of the resurrection, we have eternal life, so we live even after we die. And isn't that fantastic? That's when I say Luke 20, 36. Um, just to give you a little insight, equal to the angel son of God, that's what the verse says, the everlasting life of a resurrected person makes that person something like an angel. So basically after we die, we do not get our earthly bodies, but we get the bodies that are similar to Christ's. And this will be a new experience that will not necessarily be the parallel experience on earth. Uh, marriage won't be there, but when we will have Christ-like body, we will have bodies, um, you know, that will not feel the pain. Uh, we will be joyful and rejoicing. And that's what, uh, that's what we are, want to ask ourselves today. Have we found ourselves in Christ? Because otherwise we are not going to get eternal life. Well, I have experienced that incredible sense of purpose of being found in Christ and it changes everything. Trust me, we know we are truly loved, uh, we find home, uh, we find peace, we find strength in Jesus Christ and when we draw on His resources and we reach out in love to all those who come in contact with Him. So for example, if we are reaching out to our friend. Uh, and we are showing the true home, the true peace, the true strength. Trust me, that's giving, sharing our life, sharing our everlasting life with somebody else who probably is going to miss it if they don't hear it. But that's the purpose and that that's a purpose that can follow us all through our lives and that will only lead us to glory. So today we learned about our heart and our eyes. We learned that we should not look at something bad or we should not um, we should not basically uh, get those bad teaching in our lives but we should always keep our eyes on good things uh, we should have mercy goodness and love so that we can have that coming out of our mouths because our eyes is the gatekeeper to our inner being that's our heart and on the other side, have we found ourselves in Christ? If we have, we ought to share it with others. So this video, at the end of the video, uh, I would like you all to go ahead and share it. Share it with your friends. We're not here to be selfish enough to keep it to ourselves. We are to be blessed, to be a blessing to others. And Jesus gave it freely to us. We ought to give it freely to everybody else. So. If you have not subscribed to the channel, I urge you to please to go ahead, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. The only reason we ask you to subscribe is so that our reach gets bigger and we can reach a wider audience. But if you have not subscribed, what happens is the video just sits there or the channel just sits there. So subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon so you get notifications, follow us on all our social media, if you want to write to us. Feel free to write to us on the email ID shown on the screens. And before we go, make sure to keep a watch on your heart and eyes and have you found yourself in Christ. Well, thank you so much for today. And I hope you guys are enjoying the time on The Other 167. If you like to hear or listen to uh, somebody new come on the channel or if you want to bring somebody new on the channel or if you want to volunteer yourself to come and speak, talk, interview somebody, uh, please feel free to write to us on the email ID and we will surely see what we can do best to have your subject to have your idea on our channel. Thank you so much. God bless. Shalom. Take care.